All right, we're going to make a table and graph this rule. Okay, let's make a table. So I'm going to start with zero. If I put zero in, I have negative two times zero plus three. So that's going to be three. If I put one in, I have negative two times one plus three. So that's going to be one. If I put two in, negative two times two plus three. So that's going to be negative four plus three is negative one. Now, also, if I'm going to graph, there's two ways to graph. I can plot these points and connect the dots, which let's go ahead and do that first. So I have 0, 3. So we're moving 0 and then up 3. And then I've got 1, 1, 2, negative 1. Okay. Go ahead and connect the dots. We also could have used our y equals mx plus b information. b, we're going to begin at 3 on the y-axis, begin at 3. And this slope is negative 2. So this tells me down 2, right 1. Every time I go down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1, down 2. So looks like I am correct with my graph. Okay, this problem was straight out of your homework. Solve the system of equations for x and y. A lot of you forgot to solve for y algebraically using the equal values method. This is nicely set up for that. We know that y is equal to 12x plus 3, and y is also equal to negative 2x plus 4. Well, if y is equal to y has to be equal to itself, right? y is the same thing as y, so I can just set these equal to each other. 12x plus 3 equal to negative 2x minus 4. Equal values method, meaning if the y's are equal, we can set the expressions equal. Okay, now we solve. I'm going to get x on one side, I'm going to add 2x. 14x plus 3, there is negative 4 over here. Now I need to get rid of this 3, so we're going to subtract 3. So 14x equals negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Okay, I need to get x by itself. So this is 14 times x, so I'm going to divide by 14. 14 by 14 is just 1x, that's what we were hoping for. Negative 7 divided by 14, well, that's negative a half. So there's x, negative a half. I still need to know what y is, though. So I'm going to plug it into one of these. Let's see, I'm going to plug it into that one. So y is equal to 12 times negative a half plus 3. 12 times a negative half is negative 6 plus 3. So this is negative 3, and that's y. If I did this correctly, if I plug x in here, if I plug negative a half in here, I should get negative 3. So negative 2 times a negative a half is positive 1. 1 minus 4 is indeed negative 3. All right, last review question. Miss Langerman's class is studying a tile pattern. The rule for the tile, tile pattern is... 6x plus 5. How many tiles are in figure 0? Okay, so like if I have 6x plus 5, if I plug 0 in, 6 times 0 plus 5, it's just 5. Right? That's my beginning amount. How many tiles are in figure 1? Well, now we have 6 times 1 plus 5. 6 plus 5, that's 11. How many tiles are in figure 100? 6 times 100 plus 5. That's 600 and 5. What's the growth rate for the pattern? Well, from figure 0 to figure 1, we grew by 6 tiles. 
Figure two would have six more tiles. This is our growth rate. Slope is growth. If it's negative, the growth is negative. But our M is growth, so we're growing by six, plus six. Every time X goes up by one, you're going up another six. You could even test it out by making a little table. Figure zero has five. Figure one has 11. Figure two, if I plug two in, 6 times 2 plus 5. Oh, that's 12 plus 5. That's 17. Oh, look, we're growing by 6. If I put 3 in, I get 18 plus 5. Oh, that's 23. Beginning, figure 1, growing by 6.